Hey, welcome back friends. Portable dishwashers. Who knew? I had no idea these things existed. Uh, if I'd seen them, I've forgotten about them. But yeah, Hana, a company, reached out to me and said, would you review our portable dishwasher? Now, before we go any further, I do not think this is something that we would take camping. But I think some of you might. And so that's why we're reviewing it today. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you whether or not it does a good job. We're going to talk about that. I've ran this thing for over 10 cycles. And so we'll talk about that a little bit. And then, yeah, I'll give you my final thoughts on it. I hope you'll stick around. Okay, I'm quite certain you've seen enough of my face, but let's take a little look at the Hava portable dishwasher. I find this, this it's a really cute little unit. I love the little light up, you know, lights up when you open it. All the gets just like the one at home. I mean, this slides out. That's just a nice wire basket. Uh, you know, obviously it's not stainless steel or anything fancy in here. The the, the washing wand is, is not, it's just plastic, but yeah, nice stainless steel filter mesh down here. Uh, here is where you put your soap or your detergent, I guess I should call it. And yeah, it's a pretty cool little unit. Now it also comes with, if you wanted to hook it up permanently, I think, it comes with this water supply. So you can use that and maybe hook it to a faucet if you needed to. Comes with that. We'll, I'll show you how it's hooked up right now. Right now, it's not hooked up to any water. You have to dump water on the top. And this is considered their uh, their fruit washing basket. So you can use it to uh, to wash fruit. There's a setting up here to do that. So, yeah, I mean, it's got uses. Again, I don't think it's something we would take camping. But some of you may like it. We don't do everything everything right. Some of you may have varying opinions on this. Let me, let me bring you around here to the back. I've got my water ready to go to show you how it works. But just plugs into a normal socket. And then you have your drain hose here that's obviously going into the kitchen sink. Now, this got a little bit of a suction cup here. I'm not real sure. Would that work? Yeah, it works pretty good. Okay. So you could have it down here maybe and just make sure that it... Uh, let's get this power cord out of the sink. That's probably a good idea. But, uh, yeah, there you go. But it just... I haven't, I haven't even attached this to the sink at all. I've just let it sit in there and it does just fine so the way this works in a nutshell is you're going to take this cap off come in the front and then you're going to put 1.6 gallons of water into this area here once you have filled it up it will beep at you so you're going to know that it's full it comes with this container here and they tell you about three of these so about three of these equals 1.6 but either way it's still going to beep at you once it it's full so i'm going to put some water in it right quick and uh, yeah, then we'll run a quick cycle in. It's a little bit weird to put water in it because you kind of kind of come from the back. But uh, yeah, I'm not even going to measure it out because I know it'll beep at me when I get close. All right, so showing you guys these cycles here. Right now, that's how long it will have to dry. Your normal cycle takes 69 minutes. Your speed cycle, 29 minutes. That actually works pretty good. Spoiler alert. You've got a, uh, a soft, like a wine glasses, stuff like that. Then you've got a baby, if you're doing baby bottles, like a sanitization, that's pretty cool. So some of you that are expecting, or some of you little babies, this could be your, your baby dishwasher, your bottle dishwasher. And then you've got a fruit wash mode. So let's, again, let's load her up and get it started. So obviously it's small, but uh, yeah, I've got three plates, a couple Yetis, cereal bowl, and Yeti tops there. You know, if, you got, if there's just two of you, this thing is well big enough. So. You're just going to slide that in just like a regular dishwasher. I'm going to put in some detergent right here and it lets you know how much and we'll get her started. So one of my favorite things about this little dishwasher is you can watch your dishes being washed. And I think that's pretty cool as you can, you know, kind of gives you a sneak peek inside your home dishwasher. And this thing's going to rock and roll for another 28 minutes. I like, I do like that it has a timer and we'll come back and we'll see if our dishes are clean. Okay, friends, back uh, about, I guess, 30 minutes later, and it's done washing. It's now in the drying cycle. So you can see the little sunshine right there, and it's telling you you got 46 minutes left. And you've got the 
the little vent right here. So it's just warm air coming out right here. Uh, it's not enough to affect, I don't think, the, the climate in here. Your air conditioners aren't going to work. have to work hard or anything. But yeah, we'll come back in 46 minutes. Take a look at those dishes. Okay, friends, we're all done. Let's see what we've got. Uh, specifically, these Yeti lids. Yeah, I mean, they're, they come clean. It works. And so to fill you in on how it works, it's kind of been, uh, but the whole point of this video is to let you know if you are interested in these, to let you know how they work. They work pretty good. They, they really do. Uh, the 10 loads we've done, um, they, all the dishes have come out basically exactly the same as they would out of our home dishwasher. And our home dishwasher is actually a pretty good dishwasher. So you can see some of that stuff from coffee. Uh, that's just water in the bottom. It's coming across as dirty, but it's really not. Um, yeah, everything comes clean. It looks nice. It does work as advertised. Not something we would take camping, but if you're interested in it, they do work. At least this particular one does work. Guys, I hope you found this useful, and if you did, as always, consider subscribing. See ya. By the way, don't tell Brooke I've been doing dishes.